my podcast or welcome if you are a new viewer. I have a few new subscribers. I'm super excited, super happy you're here. My name is Emilia. I'm coming from Sweden. I live in, in Sweden with my husband, our four lovely children on a small farm with my mom and dad in the house right between my house we have six dogs and a bunch of chicken turkeys ducks and this is my podcast we are talking about knitting sewing spinning and everything but today we we are going to talk about everything I have made made in 2022 and we will start off with all the adult garments first then we will go over to the kids and some accessories today it's gonna be quite a long episode I think so bear with me we will jump into it and start the first sweater I have made the last year was early January I don't have the sweater with me it was an own pattern I made up I have you will probably see it over here right now it was a sweater for a friend and yeah she loves it I hope and in also January last year I made another sweater for my lovely neighbor Johan from Adventure North I will link his channel down below he's promised to put up a new video very soon he has said so for a couple of months now but I will link him down below but I don't have the sweater to show so this is a horrible picture but I think you got the ID and I will also show the picture of the real real sweater from the designer I don't even remember what it's called right now but I will put it on the screen so the sweater I do have with me let's start this I made for my mom early February no in the end of February I think early March maybe this is also is something I whipped up it's knitted in a blown yarn I cannot remember the yarn's name right now and I just went for a lace pattern on this diamond I think I saw a cardigan with this diamond on and just decided I wanted to do a sweater for her in this my mom's wear this sweater all the time but I quite disappointed on these the yarn on this one uh, it has shrunk a lot lengthwise but it's uh, grown a lot on the width wide uh, wise but maybe I should try to reblock this again or I I think I have one or two cakes left on this actually yarn so maybe I will just try to rip out the hem and lengthen it a little bit so this is my mom's favorite sweater maybe I should call it my mom's favorite sweater if I stand more like this the more ID how it see it's do you call this a touch a neck it's a high neck in a way she loves to have these high necks and she loves it so this is the first sweater made for 2022 that actually had stayed on this farm 
and she's pretty happy then I'm happy then in no, this one I made after that uh, this is the Avena sweater from Jessica Stengas I think she's name is like that everybody knows who she is also and I chosen to do this short sleeve instead I hope you can see the pattern it's dark and I have really bad lighting so I chosen to, uh, chosen to do this short sleeve instead of long sleeves and this was for my mom I have to knit her a new one because this came out all too small all the chest area for her and that's all my own fault <laughs> that I did it because I didn't match, match her I match myself and she has quite a larger bust than me and uh, I have a hole <laughs> I need to repair it <laughs> uh, I don't you wear this sweater a lot right now because this was the last sweater I worked on on the morning when I was going to the surgery who literally destroyed my arm and I cast it off a few days after the surgery holding my, my knitting needles between my thighs and <laughs> knitted only with my right hand uh, it was a struggle but I made it <laughs> I made it, so I'm happy it's here, but it makes me feel quite sad in one way, but also quite proud of myself that I actually make, made it out. <laughs> but after a few weeks, when I still was paralyzed, my hand didn't work at all, I made my mom this pop card again. And yeah, I made this all with my left knitting needles between my thighs, <laughs> knitted with my right hand. It was a struggle, but I made it. And now we have company. Do you want to come and say hi? Come on. The nice little kids. Come on. Some destruction. And here we have my little princess. <coughs> my little Alva. So, it took me a while. I will not lie. But the outcome of it, I have to say, I'm pretty damn happy. I really am. And the strange things with all of this, I have forgotten that I actually had made this the last year. Because it's like a twilight zone. So the puppy cardigan from Fox and Folk. Uh, she's, a, <laughs> she's a lovely, beautiful designer. And <laughs> Every pattern I'm talking about, I'm gonna link below the other pattern. Now she's looking Empty. at my llamas. <laughs> yes, baby. So, after I made the puppies uh, cardigan of Fox and Folk, I had my other surgery the nerve surgery the big one and I gained some function in my hand again and the first thing I did when I come back home from the hospital I <laughs> decided I want to knit a sweater for my husband and I did so I knit this one this is a drop design yes you yes I do uh, it's a drop design. I cannot recommend this pattern at all because um, it... 
Okej. Okay. Jag kommer göra, jag gör det sen, jag lovar. Shit, hon är inte bara en lampkastad eller lampton på <laughs> So, I'm pretty disappointed oh, with this pattern and the schematics and measurements in this pattern at all. I hope you can hear something, I say. I'm not gonna pause. This is real life, folks, <laughs> with kids. And I have to rip this out and actually put out a whole pattern repeat. To make, to make it fit. My husband has really, really broad shoulders. And I mean really broad shoulders. So I often have to make him in this, <laughs> in this case. I had show, <laughs> shows to do. Alla. Ska du gå med så får du what is okay? Okay. Uh, I actually have to knit him like two, three XL for the shoulder parts, and then I have to decrease quite quickly when you have gone over the chest area. And I did go after the. What do you call it? The measurements. Oh, for this one, but it's turned out all too big, and I have knitted it in drops merino, extra fine, and that's a super wash, and that's gross like crazy. And I did, I did have that in mind when I knit this one for him, but even though it's turned out really bad, and yeah, but I made it, I made it, I made it. I did a bunch of modification on it, but something I don't like with drops designs that is that you started the pattern. See if I have the right side. Or did I go back and make it? No, I did go back and redo it. But you should start right here. Here you can see a little bit that I didn't make. So you have all this difference when you're changing rows, rounds maybe I should say, uh, right on the back. And that's so visible and I don't like it. I more like when you do it on a sleeve or something like that. So I do not recommend this pattern at all, actually. I don't, and I don't recommend this yarn at all because this feels like crazy. It's a break, the strands have break on a few places. I think I have some, some all down. My husband wears this sweater a lot, but in very many places it's just breaks. No, I have to stand on my toes. See, it's just. And that's not so fun. But you get what you pay for. And that's a quite cheap yarn. And it's nothing wrong with cheap yarn. It's just this yarn was not good. Okay. So that's my husband's sweater. You, I think you already know. Okay. Uh, what the pattern is called because I have popped it on the screen. But, as I said, I made it <laughs> quite soon after the other surgery I had. It was a struggle, yes it was, but I made it in the end. So, that leads us up to the other sweater, or cardigan, I should say. <laughs> you can put it on. We can on in summer. You can take it on. <laughs> it's uh, this uh, Skogsnimfeke. This is my favorite cardigan. I have gone back and remade this uh, collar so it don't slide off my shoulder anymore. And this was so fun to knit. 
when I see all these sweater and cardigans, it realizes how far I have come after the herbal surgery I had the first 30th of March last year that took me all of me away, more or less. But after a few weeks, when my hands started to work properly again, this was a real joy to knit. It's a stick cardigan. Oi. And it's color work. <laughs> and that's my cup of tea. I love doing color works. So this is the Skogs Nymphica. It's a crop cardigan. I wear it a lot. It's hot and it's knitted in some Norwegian yarn that this pattern actually called for. I cannot remember the yarn right now, but I will pop up, I'll pop it down below in the description box. I have some destructions today <laughs> with my little baby. And after that one, I made this beautiful chicane cardigan, no, not cardigan, sweater from <coughs> Jiminets. And this is also knit in yeah. Drops Baby Merino, Baby Cotton Merino. And I wear this a lot. And I really love this one. But something I will do, but I have to order some new yarn for it. I will redo all of this ribbing because it's rolls like crazy. So I will redo that or maybe I will do the other version of this one and sew it together and don't have this little bows. So that's the plan I have for this one, but I still wear it a lot and I like it a lot and I think it's hold, hold up quite nicely, but I think that's because of it's a cotton merino blend. Alva, can uh, I have the paper please? Come on. She stole my paper. My notes! Yeah. I will see if I add in that away or not. Yeah, and after the chicane I made, I... Yes, please. You can stand over here. Yes. I started the Daffodil cardigan. No, not the cardigan. Why would I say cardigan? The Daffodil sweater of my real woolen. But I had some help with that one. So, that little one <laughs> did not decide that she, she wanted to wear it. So, she ripped it up. Off. So, the Daffodil sweater don't exist anymore it didn't survive 2022 <laughs> and I knitted this one instead for my mom because the daffodil sweater was actually meant to be a, um, a birthday present for my mom in September because her birthday is the 28th of September but she wanted this instead this is the Empress jacket uh, she ordered a John kit for this one and this I have to pop in a picture on this this is so hard to show <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so I will pop in a proper picture of this one hopefully when my mom is wearing it it's super hot it knits and she ordered this in a yarn kit and a, 
it's a drops design all over and it's knitted the drops yarn it's knitted in drops alpaca drops brushed alpaca silk and drops air and it was a super quick knit and After that one, it was oh maybe I should have it <laughs> right side. Up. I knitted my well modified water leather cardigan. This I knitted for me. I knitted this in two sizes. Uh, the right side is size small, and the left side is size extra small. And just to avoid that it's gonna slide off my shoulder. I can get the doctor look. But the fun Mama! Mama! The funniest Mama! thing uh, <laughs> with Mama! <laughs> Y'all what? Can the doctor get it or not? No. No. You can go sit up there with other The funny thing of this one was that it fits me super well, but you cannot you cannot notice that it's two different sizes even on my mom because my mom have borrowed this one, um, and when she borrows something, you don't get it back when it's knitted because she she loves knits. She used to and. She can keep it if she wants. I'm gonna seal it back when I want it. <laughs> anyway, in uh, alpaca, drops alpaca, that was for the daffodil, <laughs> and brushed alpaca silk that was left over from the Empress jacket. And that pattern is from Evie Evo Knit. Uh, I don't remember. I will put it on. This way. So that was all for the adult garments. Maybe I should give my daughter back to her father. Alva, can you hold me? No, it's a mess. Anyway, we will start with kids' things. Okay, this one. Let's go. And that's a bunch too. And da -da. Yeah. Top them and clean. Yes, folks. Uh, right after the surgery, I had to knit this little little girl a cardigan. This is um, the pony cardigan from. Uh, I would say drops, but maybe it's not. I cannot remember. This is knitted in um, a Swedish brand yarn. It's called Jarbo. It's Jarbo's. Uh, Lama silk. <laughs> and a strand of. Yarbo's mohair, kid silk mohair, and it's a crop cardigan because that little person over there, she is actually not wearing a dress today, but other, all of the other days she's wearing a dress. So I thought it's gonna be cute with a just a crop with a sweater. So that was for Alva, and that was just a few days after my first what surgery what? last year made me paralyzed, and yeah. And I made her choose. So this is... Yeah, it is. 
it's the same pattern, but this is also knit in a drop. No, not a drops. In a Yarbos yarn. This is, I should say, Junior Raggy. Maybe it's knitted in a sock yarn. Uh, as I said, every pattern that has a pattern and every yarn, it's linked down below. So. This is also a, a cropped version with three quarter sleeves to my little monster behind me. And this is also a cardigan I made for her. And this is from an old pattern book I got from my grandma a long time ago. So I cannot remember what this pattern called. I may maybe it's just called the girl's cardigan or something like that. This is also knitted in a sock yarn from Yarbo. I cannot remember which of it because they have different name. And yeah, as you can see, it's <laughs> quite a lot to the little one. But this is not the crop cardigan. This is more standard length of cardigan. Can you stop it? Okay. And after that one, I... No. You don't. No. I think I have to pause and give it back to the color. I will do so. I will be back really soon. So, now she's back with her father again. <laughs> My little, little princess. Yes, after the cardigan for my daughter, I made a cardigan for my youngest son, Victory. And this is also something I made up all by myself. And I have made dropped stitch, no, slipped stitches on the arm, uh, the whole arm. arm is the, and this is also a steep cardigan with a pattern I just made up. This is knitted in drops merino extra fine. It's the leftover from my husband's sweater. And this is hold up quite nicely because he's only wearing this when we are going away. I don't know why. <laughs> but yeah, he's quite hot though. He's like me, so we don't wear a lot of warm clothes. <laughs> so, but anyway, I made this for him this summer. And yeah, I basically just went out from a sweater that I now fitted him and cast on some stitches and just play around. That's the type I often do. And after the cardigan for my little son, we, I made this dress for my daughter. And I don't know if this is a pa uh, if this one have a pattern or not because I made her dress a few years ago and she have worn that dress like crazy but she grown grown out of it and she wanted a new one so I just replicate that one that I made and I cannot remember if I used the pattern for that so that dress or not. So anyway, it have lace on the cuffs. No. Yeah. Maybe I should show it more like this. And also lace on the bottom of the dress. The pink is my own handspun yarn 
and that's a fiber from Limon Design, it's called Sugar Rush and it's a merino silk blend that I spun up for her, for this dress and the grey one is yeah, now it stands still in my head again it's sun, sun is gone, I can't remember which one of it but I will check it out. And yeah, I think I have lost something, but maybe I have, or maybe I don't. After that one, I made my son this sweater, and he's so sad because he, she, he, wore, had this on him when he was on daycare and they did some Christmas presents and crafting and he actually dropped almost a whole bottle of glue on this one and I cannot get it off but I have promised him to knit him another one of this because he loves this one he has wear this like crazy this is knitted in also drops merino extra fine it's left over for the kit i made my sister's little baby my little nephew and fried that i will pop in a picture of over here it's the flex flex sweater and rye hat and socks or i cannot remember what the hat and socks called but that's also from tinker knits oh yeah i did a whole set for my little nephew in Tinker Knits and then I chose them to use this yarn I have a lot of this yarn in my stash somebody have gifted me a lot of drops yarn I think that's my grandma I cannot remember quite but I chose them to use this yarn for the little baby just because it is a um, superwash and he's used to pay me <laughs> so and my sister is another person who knits and I don't want her to feel the pressure on have to ha hand wash everything so I chose him to do it in super wash and after that one I made uh, this tiniest little cardigan this is also one of my own designs i just joined it up this is for my dad's co-worker who's gonna or she maybe have right now have her baby her first baby and my husband no not my husband my father asked me if i could knit her a little cardigan and they know it's gonna be a girl so I made this one. This is knitted up in ah also drops yarn, drops baby merino superwash. So I hope she will like this, and I hope my father will gift it to her really soon. Before I don't know if the baby has arrived or if it should arrive pretty pretty soon, because this is a tiny cardigan. So this had to go to the new owner <laughs> before the baby's gonna grow it out. Because this is knitted in a size, I should say, newborn. I could not go from the measurement that I have knitted for my Alva or for my Victor or for my Tuva. Because Alva, Victor and Tuva, they are born too early so they were super tiny. But I think this is a more newborn size because this is a little bit bigger and the cardigans and sweater I knitted for Tuva, Alva and Victory. And then we have the love note for Alva. This is also made in drops merino baby merino I should say and one strand of brushed alpaca silk it's the love note 
from um, for Alva and I will make her a few more of this one. She wears this a lot, a lot. But brush alpaca silk, it's shed like crazy when you first start to use it. So after a few washes, it's gonna it's become so much better. But before that, don't wear black jeans <laughs> or a black sweater under it or near it because it's, it's like crazy and just a few days ago actually the 28th of December my victory come and ask me mom I want a new sweater and I told him yeah I will make you a new sweater and he had to find one of my hand dyed yarn from hmm, some indie dyer. It's not Limo, I cannot remember which one because the label was off. But it's a merino sock yarn and a grey brushed alpaca silk. And I made his this flex sweater in a day. <laughs> and he really loves this one and he we have actually slept in this a few times because we have quite cold house when it's night because we only heat our house with our wood stove so when we are not have the fire going it becomes a little bit chilly so this is the last garment I have made this year no, not this year, the last year. I cast it on the 28th of December and I cast it off in the morning or cast it off in the morning of 29th of December. And I also made the single malt sweater, a sweater of course for my father, my dad, but I have not it with me here today because I don't know where it is. I couldn't find it when I was in on a little search, but I will pop in a picture. So that was that was all the garments I made in 2022, and it's quite a lot. I didn't realize that it was so much things I have done. Or managed to do and to quote my husband he said I need to get a life <laughs> maybe I do have to get a life <laughs> but I really really like to knit and I also that I don't have with me <laughs> I will pop in the picture then we can go to we will start with socks <laughs> Because I made a bunch of socks. I always make a bunch of socks. I always have a sock on the go. And I have a few socks that also is gifted. And that's the Irish Dream sock pattern from, from Drops Design. I will pop in a picture of them. And my Victories striped socks because they are still on his kindergarten and the easy peasy socks that I gifted to my kids granny and that's not the granny <laughs> my mom and yeah there was all the socks that I don't have here with me I also have a few other stuff I don't have with me but the socks I have made that I have with me and I have just chosen to take one sock of each and this is the pile of socks <laughs> that I have made this year that's still here at home we can start with this one this I made for my husband to go with his 
sweater. This is knitted in Novita Vendla and uh, Opal. The black is Opal, the white is Novita Vendla. I, li uh, I really like to knit socks in Novita Vendla. It's a sturdy yarn, it's a good yarn, it's a real workhorse yarn. Also is Opal. Opal. And yeah, my husband wears this a lot and it had hold up nicely, I would say, because he wears this almost all the time when he's at work. And I also made this one. This is the good good violent sock. No, it's not called like that, I think. It's from Fol Fox and Fox or Folk and Fox that also have designed the design and made the poppy cardigan. And I like I, I really like this one. I really love this pattern. It's it's a super easy sock. Super easy. I made this one for my Tuva, my oldest daughter. She has worn this quite a lot. It's I cannot remember the mix of it. But this is not a nylon sock yarn. It's a wool yarn for socks straight up. And I was a little bit worried because I think it's not going to hold up so well. But she actually used to wear this at home. And she wears like every time at home, but she don't wear it in her boots. And I think that's why it's still whole <laughs> and it's have not ripped apart anywhere. Quite nice. But it's starting to get a little bit thin uh, on the under uh, underside of the foot. I don't think you can see it so well, but you can start to see through them. But I also use this sock yarn, non super wool, super non nylon sock yarn for a pair of socks for my husband, and they literally he worn them out in a week. So this is not a yarn I am super impressed with, but for the reason or purpose that my daughter using it for, it's quite good. So, and then we have, oh, which one will I take? I can take this one and that one. This is just some iron weight woolly socks for Victory and my husband. They are matchy matchy. I seriously, I knit these pairs up in the evening when I was knitting my father's single sweater and I started to feel quite itchy in my shoulder and I needed some smaller projects. I just started it too. Sorry, I have not put my phone on silent. So, and this is knitted up in Drops Nepal and I know this is gonna break but they keep them warm at home and it feels like crazy. They don't wear this outside in their boots or shoes or something like that. They just wear it at home and that's fine. It's fine. And it was just fun. <laughs> and we have super cold floors. And then we have this sock I made for Alva. This is also my own pattern. I will release this pattern for free when I have write it down <laughs> on my Revelry store. And it's gonna be all the sizes from newborn up to 10 years old. 10 years, I think. And 
it's a one by one rib on the uh, upside of the uh, the foot and it's just plain stuck in it on the underside side and a slip stitch heel it's nothing complicated at all and then we have the opal sock for my husband uh, this is just an opal self patterning self striping yarn with contrast cuffs and heel and toe and this is my play around ground to find to create the most perfect pattern for his foot because he needs 20 no 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 he needs 72 stitches on the cuff and I have not cut the tail off I see it, it it's still there uh, and then I need to have 64 for the leg so I have done a few things with this sock and this pair fits him nicely and well so maybe I can include this in my sock patterns because it's also always hard to make socks fit perfect for men I think because they have broad foot beats some of them have my son except for example my older son or they have the instep is big yeah you name it but this turned out really nice and of course oh my god we have a problem you some we have a problem that's not good i have to make we have an untangling we have a tangly situation here then we have my neck and sock, my own pattern. This is on my Ravelry store. You can buy this pattern over there. This is the first pattern I ever have released. This has this beautiful cuff and the tones and the leaves. And this is knitted in Novita Venda is the base. Then the leaves and the contrast in the Latvia braid is Unicorn Solid from Hobby and the tones is Spider Boogie from Limo Design and we also have this one she is not released yet and oh my god I have fluff all over the place on this this is Skogsroet I she have been tested and I don't know I still thinking about I will release her but I maybe have to do some changes in the chart and do something but it's a feather that goes all around the leg and two leaves so that's cooks right and then we have my oldest son's Wookie sock. Mm. This is from Knitting the Galaxy Star Wars book. Yeah. It's one size. You know, one size fits all. One size do not fit all. This should be knitted in two and a half millimeter needles. I ended up to have go up to three yeah I think I had to go up to three millimeter needles to even get it on his foot is an afterthought heel and my son my older son he has big feet he has the biggest feet on this whole whole farm he has a size of 46 European size and he has real broad feet so I had a bunch of struggle with this and 
yeah one size don't fit all <laughs> but I did go up as I said from two and a half millimeter needles to three millimeter needles and I also had to do the after foot heels a much bigger I think I had to actually I cannot remember but you had a thread you should have in here and don't cut just unravel it but I had to include <laughs> much more stitches over here than over here so that's for the wookie sock and I don't know if you can see where the wookie is Maybe you can see him there. <laughs> so I think that was all for the sock for this year and two. And that leads us to a few accessories. I knitted the caffeine hat for a test knit for Ali, I think his name is. I will link it down below. And I cannot show you the hat today because that's in my husband's truck. But I also have made this shawl for Alva, which I have just show you a whole show, uh, show off on this one. I have not blocked it yet. This is a outcast for a new design. So it's coming up pretty soon, I hope. And it's not going to be in pink. This is knitted in some type of acrylic, I think. I cannot tell you more that it feels like some type of acrylic. It was a random yarn ball I had in my stash that have probably been there for ages. And I think that is a yarn ball for when my kids started to learn crochet. <laughs> So I cannot tell anything about this yarn, but I'm quite sure it's an acrylic yarn. And I also made a little cow, a cow for my Victor. Just the basic, for, no, 48 stitches. Knit plain stockinette uh, for 52 centimeters. And just so I did a three needle bind off. And that's it. It's a leftover drops air from my mom's Empress cardigan. And then we have oh I not cut the the on tails off on this Ila. The baby bear bala bak baklava but something from knitting from olive <laughs> this is alvas this is knitted in tin pergint and följetråd from sunless garn and first of all i thought maybe this is gonna be itchy on her because it's pretty much rustic yarn not super but uh, anyway but I have to say, with this alpaca feliotrod, it's it's nice. She's wearing this a lot when it's been really cold outside. And I chose to do the long version of this one. And I think she is so cute with this on. <laughs> and I also made a cow for my sister-in-law and her put a cow, a cow, I will pop in a picture on it somewhere and then of course I just have to see so I don't have this something the elephant in the room my rustica shawl this is my own design my own hand spun yarn the <laughs> this brown is Shetland and this one is Blue Face Lester. The Shetland I chosen to spun up woolen spun and the Blue Face Lester I chose 
chosen to spun up it in a worse spun yarn. And this is my favorite thing. I wear this a lot like this and I can wrap myself around in it <laughs> for ages because this is quite big. It's 2.80 centimeter. No, it's 2.80 meters in the wingspan. And a few people have asked me if I'm gonna release this pattern. I will. I'm still working on it because I didn't do any specs on this yarn. I just spun it up in fingering weight uh, yarn. It's a two ply, both of them is two ply. And I I can just tell you it's a fingering weight on spun yarn. And I wrote down the pattern, I did, but I have to do this in another type of yarn, I think, or maybe I should just put it out, out of test knits and see what other people's coming up with. So, this is all folks, this is all I have made in 2022, no it's not, I also made the uh, deliver by Owl Mittens for my Tuva and those mittens she accidentally left on oh, not on she left them with her grandmother when she was a um, visitor her grandma so I will pop in a picture of it and yeah this was a pretty messy episode but that's all I made in 2022 and for life update stuff we got the flu for Christmas presents so <laughs> we have all been sick <laughs> but we all feeling quite much better now I'm still quite tired but I'm always tired so that's nothing new but I think that was all for today. I will not ramble on for any longer now. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and the next episode is going to be a regular episode and I hope I have a finished yellow cardigan to show you then. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas, that you have a wonderful Christmas New Year's Eve I should say. I always repeat it myself. And I I'm so curious to hear what everyone is gonna make in 2023. Please leave me a comment down below and tell me what you're gonna make this year. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you not have subscribed. It's really helped my channel out. And I hope I see you in two weeks and have a wonderful beginning of this new year. Bye!